If you're new around here, we're Annalise and Jordan and we live full time in this Mercedes Sprinter van. We've been living on the road for 10 months and we're currently in the Lake District scoping out some beauty spots and the best hidden gems. However, this week we're back on the van build and we have a really exciting new addition to show you all. What are you doing? How can it not be here? So if you've been here a while, you'll know that we don't have any windows in the van and we're starting to get really bad cabin fever. So we did used to have two sliding vent windows at the back of the van, but we decided to swap them out for our side pods to make our bed bigger. If you've not seen our van before, here's a little tour. So, if you are new around here, let's give you a little tour of the van. So this is our kitchen area. We have just fitted a two burner hob in it. We've got cabinets all up here, sink, which is full of dirty dishes, real life, van life. Um, cupboards down here, the usual standard stuff and our gas bottles in there. Um, we've got a wardrobe which all Jordan's clothes fit in, should be the other way around. Um, and then we've got a massive fridge freezer with all our bits in Jordan's beer, nearly falling out. Um, this section is like a sofa but it doubles up as a table as well so we've got like a table leg that goes under there. What else can I show you? The bed and then up here we've got our little tablet which we use as a TV. Max air fan, cute little bunting at the back. We've actually got a shower fitted in our van so we've got the shower, toilet, it's a little bit messy in there but we'll let you have a little lock. And Jordan's just fitted this snazzy new flooring as well, which I think looks super cute. We've got the seat at the front, which is half for shoes and half for dirty washing. And then we've got the bit of storage at the front, which I recommend everyone to do, and shove all your coats and jackets inside. And then we've even got an emergency hatch. Today we're going to be fitting this window in the slide door of our van. So let's get it unboxed and let's see what we get inside. So if I look ill, it is actually because they are ill. I am very little cold. But inside the van, inside the van, let's go again. So this is the Adventurer window. It's got a privacy glass on the front and it's acrylic glass. Um, you flip it around the back and the catches. So these have got a little lock mechanism there to stop them from lifting, which is quite cool. Um, I've not seen that on many others. Also, you get this which is a fly net and blackout blind at the same time which is going to be really handy if I'm sleeping at night you can just bang blackout straight away or if we've got the window open we can have our fly net down in Scotland it's full of midges and in the lakes as well so that's going to help with some of the windows um, on the inside you usually get these little tag brackets they're like tiny small brackets and then um, you fit them around the window to pull the window in but with this one, you actually get a full frame and this is what's going to pull the window into the metal of the van. So these are the buttons. I've got two 500 mil, which will go either side and a 106.5, I think it is, which will make us a nice square frame or rectangle frame around the window so we can pull the window in. I'm going to double check to see if it's square in a second, but I'm just going to make sure it fits. Yeah. There we yeah. are. Yeah, it fits. So we just need to make sure that we're square. And then we can cut the hole. I'm happy with that. Looking about there. Yeah. So we need to tape enough up the far edge to this edge see what we've got there top and bottom then that'll allow us to work out what's straight and what's not that was cool wasn't it yeah so Annalise lives close to a safari park and you can hear the lions from a house when they're feeding just heard them then it's amazing don't know if you can pick it up on camera <coughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Looks like a TV, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? That'll go there. Like that. As long as I can get that bottom corner there, I know where I'm at. 
Should I tap it with a, a nail or something like an arm lady? So we have just discovered this is where we would like the window to be. But on the inside, it starts to curve up, which I'll show you in a second. So this is where the corner has to be. Back to where we can go from, which is here. So as long as I put this frame in place, we we'll get that into the corner, then we're all good. So we can go anywhere from there. And now it's just a case of marking, making sure that we're the same distance there and the same distance there. Mark the inside, cut it out and drop the window in. Sounds easy. It does. <laughs> How can it not be here? How's it not it? Pull that there, Lisa, sir. Right on the edge. Got it. Mm -hmm. Don't let it move. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh you sure right. it just doesn't look it? Like what's wrong about it? So this side here is eight and a half. And this side here is nine. Measure across this section. Just shy of one meter. And this is just shy of 500. One meter exactly. 500 exactly. So that's right. Have the first hole. Get what? Jiggy with it. <laughs> right, let's get some. The goggles are back on. That's it. Two shaped turtle. Alright, let's go. To be honest, I cannot see a thing. I'll tell you what, that's why. Bloody tape on there. Anyone in? <laughs> How did I pull the short straw and you're just sat in there? I'm cameraman. I hope you're not a bloke. <laughs> just sanding down all the sharp edges. I'm just gonna paint the edge the bare metal with some metal paint. I'm sure there's plenty on it. Whoops, my finger slipped. <laughs> Cheeky get. <laughs> <laughs> the idea eventually is to get some black vinyl and wrap all around like this curved bit that you can see so it all blends into one. So while we're waiting for that to set, should we go and have a brew? Yeah, go on then. I need a Lemsip Max. <laughs> I'm dying. Look at her though, find out the way. <laughs> Hello! Oh. Lemsip, if you're watching, can you sponsor the video? Right, let's get back to it. <laughs> so you've got a few options with these. You can either grind these out and take the strengthening beams out or you can notch your wood out so that this drops in flush and your strengthening beams are still in place. So we are using Pureflex 40 for bonding the window in but you can use any polyurethane sealant, Sikaflex, I think Tiger Seal do ones, quite a few, quite a few different ones but yes we are using Pureflex 40. So when the window's in, I will show you what our plans are for the inside because it's going to be an absolute game changer for us. Do we shut the window over? Yeah, shut the door over. Did I just call it a window? I don't know. Here goes. 
You sure you don't need my help? No, I'm sure. You'll be alright. Tell me when I'm on. I think you might be on. Am I on yet? Yeah, the top needs to be pushed in. Right. The Yeah, that corner, yeah. What do you mean? Does it? So the window is in. You doing the honours? That's good. Oh, I'm it off. Oh, yes. Go on then, peel it off. Let's have a look. Oh, oh yeah, that's mega, isn't it? That looks so good. Right, let's just clean the edges up now. <laughs> Super clean job, look at that. Silicon line boss, isn't it? I know where that is because I done it. <laughs> oh, it does look good though. Step back a bit. Boss. Made up with that as well. Dead shiny. All we've actually got to do now is put this frame on. So that's the thing with the, um, the blind that pulls down and then the fly net pulls up. So that goes on obviously the inside and then what I was on about before, we're going to cover, I don't know what we're going to do with this yet. We could do with carpet. some carpet, couldn't we, just to mm. join it on. We've got a little bit more carpet and carpet here. Ideally, we need self-tapping screws for this, but we have got some others that we are going to try out. Just to save us going back to being cute. Look at him always ruining the shots with his big fat head. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think it looks class. It does, Tony. That is super privacy glass. Hey, welcome to my crib. <laughs> oh yeah, that's class, isn't it? That fly screen's boss. Let me out. Can you have an ice cream, please? <laughs> when you're outside talking to people, stood under here. Got a brolly, mate. Check that out. <laughs> Pass us a brew, love. And that's the window fitted. If you liked the video, tap the thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe. See you on the next one.